Okay, so today I wanted to discuss uh, accusative nouns in Russian. So before I begin, I'm, I'm at uh, learnrusky.com. Free website has numerous charts and such. Click on study subjects, go to nouns, and you can see all these, these uh, various cases. We want to look at accusative cases today. So this is how accusative case nouns are declined. Now an accusative noun it's going to be the direct object of an action. So the action of the sentence is applied to this noun. Um, it can also be if there's movement um, um, towards the noun. Say you picked up the object or so. So, it, so it's what the action is applied to. And you can see how um, the words that declined here so a feminine noun in accusative case if it ends in a soft sign then as you can see it doesn't change it just stays as such and this is in the plural version stays the same as it would be in plural as well and a masculine noun is the same thing it would not change in the soft sign but you notice here this actually does change it becomes ya yeah. well that's because this is an animate noun uh, masculine nouns only change in the accusative case if they're animate, as in they're a live object. Who should tell me is teacher, so that's, an, that's a person, it's animate. But typically masculine nouns and neuter nouns do not change at all when changing them into accusative case. It's only feminine nouns, as you can see here, zemlia, feminine noun, it becomes zemliu in accusative singular. Uh, ruka becomes ruku. But you can see these masculine and neuter nouns here, they're not changing at all in the accusative case, as you can see in this column here. So in accusative case, a feminine noun ending in a will become u in singular, and the plural remains the same. Ruki is the plural version of it, remains the same. And a feminine noun ending in ya will become u, and uh, plural will be the same as it is in um, nominative plural. And a masculine noun will only change if it's an animate object such as a teacher. Then soft sign, for instance, becomes ya yeah in singular and ye yeah in um, plural. And I have some examples here of how this works. So the direct object of the action is in accusative case. Ya brosil kamen vamishinu. I threw a rock at the car. So... Car, typically, in nominative case, uh, is machina. That's car. But because this is the object of the action, I threw the rock at the car, it's going to change to um, accusative case, which is u. Ya brosio kamen va machinu. Ya slomal noga. I broke my leg. Ya slomal noga. Well, this is a feminine noun that ends in a, so it's going to become... Wrong key. Yes, Lamal no gu. Again, a becomes u in uh, accusative case. And this one, rebionic. This means child. Ya pod nial rebionic. I picked up the child. Now, rebionic is a masculine noun, but as you can see, uh, it's animate because a, a child is a, is a person, it's an animate object. So, this will take on the ending of a. Ya podnial rabionica. It uh, becomes a even though it's a masculine noun because it's an animate object. Once again, if we look at the chart here, you know we can see that um, that the masculine noun only changes if it's animate. Otherwise, all these other masculine nouns, when you're changing them to um, Accusative stay the same. You can see nominative. This is the nominative version, and here's the uh, singular accusative. And the same would be true for the uh, the plural version. It won't change from nominative plural either. So again, remember that it's just the the object of the um, the sentence. So that that changes to accusative. So yeah, let's see. T is not you. I, you know, I know you. So 
These are both in nominative case right now, but if I know you, then T would have to change to T bear because that is accusative case. Yet T bears not you, I know you. You are the object of the sentence. You are what I know. So that becomes accusative case. And I hope that this can help to clear up some of the um, confusion that one may have um, when changing nouns into accusative case in a Russian language. Once again, this is learnruski.com. It's free to use. You can study the charts for various uh, verbs and nouns and see how to decline the words um, for the, the various nouns. And let's just look at, um, let's look at accusative animate for a second. I have a separate chart for accusative animate. So th these are, these are going to be um, masculine and neuter nouns. Most neuter nouns are not animate, but some are. You can see here you have a neuter noun, listo, is a nominative form. And an accusative animate, or becomes a. Uh, and plural is just least. It just loses the the uh. And you can see here, masculine nouns end in a consonant. They get ah uh added to the end, as you saw right here with verbionic. That's that's how uh, the nominative form is. But if it ends in a consonant, then uh, for accusative, um, animate becomes verbionic ah. Uh. Ah uh is added to the end in the um, singular. You, you have here student, for example. Accusative animate, it becomes a. Uh. Ye becomes ya with accusative animate. It, essentially, accusative animate is the same exact uh, form for genitive case. So if you study genitive case, then you will recognize these endings. Um, soft sign, for instance, masculine, ushetel, becomes ya, as we saw on the last chart. Uh, muj, masculine word meaning husband, becomes muja. And see. Then you have the feminine ones as well. Yeah, they, they don't change from, a, from a animate to inanimate though. They're the same. So hopefully that can help clear it up. There's numerous other um, uh, charts and such on here. You have reflexive verbs, for instance. You, you have numerous. So thank you for watching. I'll post more videos. And remember, learnruski.com. Thank you.